What up y'all, it's your boy Gloopy1, I'm back on the Dark Nova, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to use Dark Nova. In this video, I'm going to be covering three different methods of using Dark Nova, that being the Hybrid Nova, the Trap Stack Heavy, and then the Blade Stack Heavy. The Blade and Trap Heavy strategies are more of the traditional Classic Nova, and you'll see what I mean when I get to it. But we're going to start off with Hybrid Nova. If you don't know what Hybrid Nova is, it's basically if you're rocking a piece of gear that gives you more of your main school damage. Like as you can see here, Mask of Exalted gives a lot of balance crit and balance damage, but not a lot of universal or shadow damage. So because of this, you're not going to have the damage you normally would have, it's just a full on Nova. To counteract that, what you need to do is you need to go for damage beforehand, but you have to conserve your shadow pips. You can't just send a mockish build, you can't just send a gaze. You can use spells such as Lore Master, Elemental Golem if you're against an elemental school, but the main big hit will be Burn. Now as you can see, Mana Burn has the potential to be a really big damage dealer, but you can't do a Utility Burn like you normally would on a regular balance. You have to go for a Mana Burn when they have a lot of pips, which can be tricky because if they know they're against a balance, they may try to use up their pips. So that's why you may also need to pack smaller hits like Lore Master, Ninja Pigs, and stuff like that. And although your stuff will do damage, if you send a shot in your opponent and they send one back, you're going to be in the worst situation because they have better damage and pierce. So to keep yourself alive, what you're going to need to do is most likely use an availing or two, or three, or four, or five. This strategy is basically, you can do damage to them, you stall out, you can heal, put the shadow blade up, then dark nova into the victory. With this strategy though, since you have lower damage and lower pierce for shadow, you need to get that Shadow Blade up. It's more important on Hybrid Nova than it is on any other strategy, because that 30% damage will win you or lose you games. As far as the good Hybrid Nova setup, this is the setup that I run, along with these pieces of gear, and this is the pet. If you want to hatch with it, just DM me on Discord. Next off, we're gonna go with the traditional Classic Nova. This is whenever you will use a Nova into just two arbitrary buffs, whether it's a Green Oak into a Paladin, Midnight into a Paladin, Green Oak into a Faint if they don't shield. This will be the strategy you use the majority of the time. The only reason that you probably wouldn't use this strategy is if you're against a Storm or if you're against a Myth. And the reason that is, is because they have really good blade removal, and that's why you're going to go on the Trap Heavy Nova, which I'll show next. And the reason I say Blade Nova is because it doesn't matter what blades you use. You can use the Savage Paw, you can use the Green Oak, it doesn't matter what buffs you use which leaves it open to blades. What I usually like to do is I go for a midnight sprite since it's only one pip and I can conserve my pips or I'll go for a green oak because it does put a weakness on them. And those are both really, really good first Nova moves. Into a dread paladin because if you potent a dread paladin, it has the potential to give you a 25, 40 or 55 trap. And any other Nova buff at maximum will give you a plus 25 and lets you sharpen it or enchant it somehow. So the paladin's worst case scenario is just like you're doing a regular nova buff. Now you also do have to go for hits as well, just like hybrid nova. The only difference is not only will your novas do more damage, you also don't have to go for as many extra hits as a hybrid nova will have to. If you need more help learning this type of nova, I'll link some of my nova videos at the end of this video and even right now. So hopefully that helps you. Moving on to trap heavy nova. This type of nova is what you use against myth wizards and storm wizards mainly. The reason you want to go trap heavy is because if you go for something like a Savage Paw or a Green Oak, all they have to do is go for an Earthquaker and Feeble and you're done. It gets rid of your Shadow Blade, your Nova Buff Blade, your Nova Pierce Blade, and whatever buff that you just put on. So to counteract that, what I like to do is I like to go for a Trap Buff into a Trap Buff. An example of this is going for a Midnight Sprite first turn, because more than likely they're going to have a shield. So you go for the Midnight Sprite, then they Enfeeble the Earthquake, you to do whatever they want, and then you go for a Faint. Or, if they're double shielded, you'll go for the Midnight Sprite into the Paladin. Now, if they only have one shield on and you Midnight Sprite them, and they go for an Earthquake or an Enfeeble, what you can actually do is Nightbringer either a Hex or a Faint into a Shift spell. Because even though you Nightbringer, and it does give them an extra turn to do whatever they want to do, the most that they could possibly do would be just a shield, in which case, you're just going to do a shield break anyways into the Faint. And Nova is glitched a little bit, so it doesn't matter if you use Nightbringer or Daybreaker, it will not reduce your backlash down to zero, but it will kind of bug out and give you a double shadow trap, but it's the same trap so it doesn't stack. There's a bonus kind of Dark Nova. It's literally brainless faint stacking. This type of Nova, you'll just go for a faint into a Nightbringer faint into a third kind of faint. This Nova is a very high risk, very high reward. I don't think I've personally ever done this strategy. If they don't have something like a Dark Pact and Empower or some kind of self hit to take off those feints, you can get a really nice open shot. But if they have any kind of self damage hit, or if they egg as a tower onto a different tower shield, it's kind of really bad for you. You don't really see this kind of Nova a lot, and the reason that is, is because of the commitment. You put a Shadow Blade, both Shadow Pips, all your turns and your feints and your Nightbringers into something that they can just empower off. If you do choose this route, I will warn you, it's not always going to work. But if you're welcome to try it. For every other strategy besides Hybrid Nova, 
This is what I'm rocking along with this. And again, here's the pet. If you want to hatch, hit me up on Discord. I'll be happy to lend it out. There's also Myth Nova. There's Death Nova. There's Life Nova. And believe it or not, I have seen a Storm Nova one time. The best schools to Nova, in my opinion, though, are Life, Death, and Balance. So if you want to see a video on how those work, post it in the comments below. I'll see if I may be able to do that for y'all. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, hit that like button below. But unlike it, if you really do actually like the video. If you have any other tips, tricks, questions, comments, or hate mail, post them in the comments below. I'll try to read them and respond to them as soon as I see them. And you can always hit me up on Discord. I'll try to respond to you as quickly as I can. Until then, I hope you have a great day. And I hope you absolutely destroy on Nova. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.